I'm Carly Lisa with Achilles Mazda. Tonight I'm sitting in a very beautiful 2016 Mazda 6 GT. The reason why I'm sitting in this car is because I want to show you the navigation system. I've had a few people ask me about it and it's on special this month so I figured it's fitting to give you a little overview on how it works. So let's get started. So I've gotten a Mazda recently um, and played around with the technology in this car you know that this is touchscreen when you're parked so we can either use touch or we can use our commander knob I much prefer using this for the most part because you have the quick shortcut keys plus you don't get any fingerprints on your screen but uh, for ease of use we'll start with this touchscreen functions because they're a little bit um, easier to follow along here and you probably want to plan your route prior to heading out so you can see we have the first button here highlighted. That is to program your route. So very simple. You just, if you know the address, you just plug it in here, right? So zip code and it's very smart. So see how it says Milton because that's where we are right now. We're in Milton. But if I want a different place like Mississauga, I just start typing it in and the system automatically kind of figures out what you're trying to say. You can check this little mark right here if that's what you want, Mississauga, or this list here in the corner will show you some different uh, options as well. So let's just click Mississauga. Street name, let's say Dairy. Dairy Road East, sure. House number, I don't know if uh, this will work. Let's pretend. And see what I did there? When you get to the house number section, it it wants you to click here so that you can confirm where the point is on the map. Especially with new addresses, sometimes it's off a little bit, so you can actually just adjust it if you need to, if it's not quite in the right spot. Not necessary for the most part, but if you do encounter that, that's what you can do. So let's click navigate to. So we've selected our address, punched it in, gives us an overview of the route, and down here it shows us route options. We can change the way we're uh, going. You can do fast, economical, shortest distance, shortest distance, oh my goodness. It even shows you turn by turn list if you're, um, if, if you want to visualize it yourself. This gives you the great listing of where you're going to go and simulation so this will actually show you exactly what you should be doing maybe we need to um, crank up the speed a little bit here <laughs> there we go we <laughs> that's so funny it's taking you through your route at four times the speed and this is exactly what it'll look like when you're going through it. Do, do, do. See, it shows you when you're speeding. See that yellow right there? That'll light up if you're speeding, which we're technically speeding right now. We're going like eight times super fast. <laughs> shows you nearest gas stations here, service facilities. I really like those pictures of the off ramps. It gives you a better idea of where to go because sometimes they're awfully confusing. And I have no idea where we're going right now. I don't know what's at this address. Oh, there's another fuel station. Woo! Oh, and I guess it's on the wrong side of the road. So you safely make a U-turn, and there you are. <laughs> you have arrived at your destination. Home. Basically all you need to do is plug in your address and it'll save that for later. So from wherever you are, you can say navigate home and it just does it for you. This points of interest is really, really cool. If you wanna look for a specific place, you can punch in the name. Uh, like a restaurant, the keg, or whatnot, you can just punch it in here. You can also search by category. So if you're not sure um, 
exactly where you want to eat or if you need to find parking and of course gas stations you just basically click it and this is going to search an area near here if you want you can also change that to in a different city so if you want to look in Toronto or Montreal or whatever the case may be you can look that up as well so I'm just gonna search around this area it brings up all the restaurants we have here so you can kind of scroll through do I feel like Sunset Grill Wild Wings maybe how about some fish and chips hmm Louis diner is pretty good let's click that so this would take us there again it gives us the overview of the route I guess it's not very far not at all there we go there's our route options <laughs> let's do a simulation again that was pretty fun and crank up the speed <laughs> it's literally just down the street great place to eat and I can hit the back key to go back to the previous screen that's this key here I really like that one so pretty cool system if you're not sure what to eat you know with your better half your spouse you can kind of go through them like that and just basically pick something you know what it even has oh my goodness I didn't even point this out so let's say you want to go to Boston Pizza and pick up some pizza see the phone number down there do you see that so if you've got your phone connected you can even order your pizza on the way home totally wild amazing stuff right there you know you're stuck in rush hour and you're like oh my gosh I'm so hungry don't worry Mazda's got you and you have favorites you can program favorite addresses places you frequent and you've got your history of places we've been and you can geo coordinate now I've heard that um, some people use this for geocaching, which is like a new thing. Google it. Um, but also some addresses like in the boonies don't have addresses. So you need longitude and latitude. That's why you have it. So yeah, that's programming your route, navigation info, traffic, help. Where am I? Oh my goodness. Where am I? I'm lost. Oh, there's my latitude, longitude, and my altitude right on. <laughs> if I need help nearby, okay, so this might not seem like a big thing right now, but when your son falls off a dock and has a four inch gash in his leg, and you're freaking out because it's the worst cut you've ever seen thus far in his little life, you need a hospital right away. So, you know for instances where you are you know that might happen um, this I think would come in very handy medical police fire station car repair because trust me I was all over Google when that happened man it was scary um, and that's it that's really that gist of that we did points of interest already you can change your view, 2D, 3D, whatever makes sense to you. And there's a whole bunch of settings you can program on how it works. So if you want your root settings to default a certain way, you just kind of personalize it all. You know, allow fairies in case you go to Manitoulin Island. <laughs> so speed limit, you know, that's kind of helpful. Speed cameras, warn for cameras when speeding. Just saying pointing that out <laughs> guidance volume oh the guidance so she does talk to you we didn't notice that in the simulation but she talks to you and she uses the driver's side speaker and the great thing about that is that it doesn't interrupt your experience with the music for your passengers very cool so you can turn it down all the way if you don't want it but it is kind of handy so you can really program how this system works for you. I really like it. You can also do it by voice if you wish. You just use this button here. Just press it. Save command. Navigate to an address. Save a full address, including number, street, city, and state. 
1195 Steeles Avenue East, Milton, Ontario. One match found. To accept this address, say line one. You can also say try again or say step by step address entry. Line one. To begin navigation, say start. Start. Navigating to selected address. <laughs> you have technically arrived at selected address. Now there's two ways to cancel a route. You could either go here, cancel route, and just click that. Um, or you could do it by voice. You press the voice command, say cancel route. And see here, there's your root stuff again, all those settings that it previewed before you like before you said, okay, navigate. So there it is again, if you need to adjust it anyhow. I've also had a few questions about the traffic. So if you go in here to traffic settings, it shows you. So it, the way it works is it uses the HD radio to send traffic uh, data to the system. And it would give you a detour. See here, it's set at five minutes. So if you're stuck on your route for more than five minutes, it'll pop up and give you an alternative, which you can obviously accept or not. So that's it. We can go ahead and cancel this route. When you get your new Mazda, you want to drive at least 100 kilometers. That way the navigation card will marry to your vehicle. So when you take out your SD card and go to register with a desktop software, um, it'll have all the data and you need that to complete your registration. It's not hard. They do allow you to create a backup for your card, which I highly recommend. Um, and then you can get your free updates. It's a pretty good system. You know, lots of great things about the Mazdas. Let me know if you have any <laughs> questions about the cars and certainly come see me here at Achilles Mazda. But that's it for now. I'm Carly Lisa. Thank you for watching.